today has been a busy day on the farm. Um, we've gotten the goats out on their leashes, trying to take care of them, but they're getting tangled up. They're knocking water buckets over. They're getting off of their leashes, so it's just been an adventurous day. But I have my older boys out front raking up the leaves, and I'm bringing those leaves to the garden, and I'm laying them in the pathways. And hopefully next year, this will be a deterrent to weeds growing up in the pathways then along where we're going to plant stuff, um, I have a lot of rabbit manure that I'm going to come and put down. Um, I have some straw that I'll be able to put down later and that will help tamper down the weeds, hopefully where the plants are. So this is what today is doing for us and uh, we'll come back later and show you more of what happened with the goats today and as we put them away for the night. So we'll see you in just a little bit. So as I was bringing the leaves out, I happened to notice there's some squash still left out here. There's one right over there. There's this one, and then we have one right here and another one hiding right in there. So just amazing how much can be produced in a garden, even when it's unplanned. This was volunteer plants that came up from some squash that I had put in this pile over here. And uh, even though it's We've had one frost and it's been awfully cold. Um, I don't think we've gotten below freezing again, but these squash are still good. And they might likely still ripen up some bit. If I take them inside, they might still turn completely orange. I don't know that they'll be all that flavorful, but they could still be used. We'll just have to check them and see. Inky has been here pretty much all day. And over here is another flat spot right there. And Tinge, our, one of our other cats, she's spent a day just curled up right there. And I'm trying to figure out why exactly. The only thing I can come up with is maybe the leaves are disintegrating, they're rotting, and they might be letting off some heat. I don't know but the, the cats seem to like to curl up in this leaf pile from last year. It's kind of funny. All right, so it's a little after three now and I'm trying to make it a goal to not have them out too much past three, kind of make that the daily routine for bringing the goats in because it gets dark here in the winter time at about 4.15 at the, at the earliest. And um, when they're down there, I don't want to have to be going down there when it's really close to being dark and um, so I'm going to try to make 3 o'clock the time that I just bring them up and put them back in their pen for the night. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to try to round these critters up. Shouldn't be too hard because you let them go and they really just kind of follow you around. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to let them loose and have them follow me back into their pen. <laughs> 